Welcome to Mizo. Today I am going to be styling the Hogwarts houses that's Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. Yes, so I'll be styling the houses with two outfits. One will be the outfits that you know they'll wear on a normal day every day, and the second outfit will be the outfits that they would wear for the U ball. Yeah, uh, let's get to it. But before we get to it, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Okay, so the first outfit is a casual outfit that I would wear as a Gryffindor house member. As you can see, I paired this red toast neck top with this very flare fun skirt and this black boots. And yeah, I really like this skirt. It's a very fun skirt to wear. You really just can't stop shaking when you wear it. Um, this actually wasn't the original idea I had in mind, but it's so much better than the original because the original was nah, way boring than this, but I felt like this, this would make so much sense. Um, I know the Gryffindor house colors are red and orange, but I, there's not much of orange, but you know, you know, I feel like the outfit still works somehow. It's really fun. It just has this really school, cool girl, school girl vibes. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I think it's a really practical outfit. I mean, don't see yourself running through the corridors trying to save a friend that's stuck in the bathroom, hiding from trolls that escape the dungeon, you know, no matter how good stuff. Anyways, this is the u ball outfit that I would wear as a Gryffindor house member. If you watched my previous video, you know that I wore this outfit for the Valentine's Day, you know, video. But, you know, I just had to wear it again because I didn't go shopping for this video anyway. So, yeah, I think it's a very perfect dress for a Gryffindor house member to wear to the u ball. I mean, don't you really see Ginny wearing this dress to meet Harry at the u ball? It's just so, you know perfect it has this nice length and you know it's a very unique but very simple dress at the same time i really love the top of the dress there's this veil that is unfortunately undetachable but it somehow works for it you know and there is this back of the dress that i really like it's not you know anything much but yeah it has its own uniqueness to it i decided not to tie the two sashes at the end but i try to leave it like that so you can see my back lip because who doesn't have those either way this is the dress i would wear to the u-ball now off to the driven floor house okay so i decided to pair this corduroy blue corduroy overall gown with this white crop top underneath and i think it's a very fitting look for the driven floor house i mean doesn't it look very smart i can totally see myself going to the library wearing this outfit i mean it's really fun and like i said before i'm literally jamming out to music throughout this entire video so yeah you could see me acting like i'm in a music video but you know that's 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 normal <laughs> let's just have fun and go along with it okay uh we didn't really get to see much in the harry potter movies from you know the ravenclaw house apart from the ending maybe we got to know about um ravenclaw's tiara but i really feel like Ravenclaw house members are, you know, people that are going to be very fun. Apart from the fact that they are smart, I feel like they're going to be so much fun. So yeah, this outfit, this whole vibe is just it for me. Alright, so what I would bear on the you, but yeah, I know, I know you've probably seen this in my previous video and you're like, yeah, she, she's worn this before she went again. Like I said, I didn't go shopping you guys, so I had to wear it again. But this time I decided to put a twist to the dress. I decided to change the back of it, you know, to give you more view of the back of the dress. And then I decided to tie um, the remaining part of the string from the back and the front and made it like this little bow and you know just gave it this really fun different look to the dress. I really like it so I decided to go with it. There's one thing I love about this dress is the fact that it can never cease to amaze me. I love the way it shines. Yo like I could wear this dress a hundred and one times. No jokes. Literally it's so fun. I mean Apart from the fact that everyone probably is going to be looking at you on the dance floor, it's just something that really livens up your mood, whether I like it or not. So yeah, this is the Ravenclaw house dress that I will totally wear to the u -ball. Okay, so this is my first Hufflepuff casual outfit. As you can see, I decided to pair this yellow dress with this black jacket and I also paired it with the boots, the black boots that I wear in the first outfit. And yeah, I also decided to switch up my look by changing on my wig. So yeah, I'm matching my wig with my hair, yellow hair, yellow dress. <laughs> yeah, so this is the first of a puff look. I feel like compared to the rest of the office, this has a very 
you know um much more serious look to it and and also a very you know fashionable fashionista kind of look so i also created a second hufflepuff casual outfit which just consists of a yellow turtleneck top and a black pencil skirt this is the second casual outfit for hufflepuff i think it's very simple very nice it has the hufflepuff colors which are yellow and black yeah so this is the outfit that i'll wear to you but as a hufflepuff house member yeah it's a very very princessy type of dress of course it's yellow and yeah as you can obviously see it is not my size i've had this dress since 2016 and if anything has happened since then it's the fact that it's become even bigger for me so ha <laughs> either way this dress is what i would wear i think it's very you know very fitting for a ball dress you know it's very lengthy very big very princess like and i think it's something a beautiful buff member would wear i mean can you run around this dress when some danger comes like it always does in hogwarts no you probably might just you know end up in real danger with this dress but but at least you look like a princess before the danger happens and you know you might just survive <laughs> okay finally we are at the last but most definitely not the least house slithering and as you can see i paired this black bodysuit top with this green um pants and yeah um this is look i mean it's it's green <laughs> which signifies the green i guess i don't know why but it's kind of blue from here but believe me it's especially green so yeah this is the first first casual look i also decided to switch my wig as you can see i felt like you know i had to match the vibe and i feel like this fringe wig really does the job i think it's a look that is very soothing of the student house because you know when i think of student you think of you know very classy very serious guys i mean more probably usually wearing suits at the last few movies so this is the second casual student house outfit that i chose it's a simple green top with some boot cut pants i decided to pair with some pointy heels and this will give me so much early 2000s vibes i don't know it just gives me so much you know early times vibe but i like it finally this is the dress i will wear to the ball in the living house i knew we are probably expecting a green dress but unfortunately i do not have one so this black long you know evening dinner dress will have to do I decided to pair it with some green necklaces and um, it comes with the earrings too so it's very pretty and I think it suits the dress too. I mean when I think about Slytherin you have to think about something like this you know you know they're like old money read very serious very classic kind of people so I really, really see someone in the Slytherin house wearing this. I mean when you see this dress don't you just think of someone who is very ambitious very resourceful someone who can be a leader you know those traits that people in the student house have. I especially see myself conquering the world in this dress. I think we all know that girls from the student house are probably the type that are not gonna dance but rather just going to sit on the chair moving their body a little bit while judging people on their outfits. <laughs> so we have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys really liked it. I wish I could start you know with more options but I literally had to start from my closet so this is the best I could do. But I really think that this video was really nice and you know it suits every house very well so please comment down below what you think of this video tell me what your favorite house was tell me what your house and how it is and what was your favorite house outfit from this video thank you guys so so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to help a girl out see you on my next video bye